Take a look up at the sun. Actually, probably don't do that. It's probably a bad idea. But anyway, think of the light that the sun gives off. White, pure light. Now, what if I told you that just by looking at that light, we could know what the sun was made of? That is stellar spectroscopy. Today's tidbit is going to need some background explanation and we're going to start with this, a rainbow, showing all the visible light from red all the way up to blue and violet. But then we've got ultraviolet, which we can't see but we know it's there because it reflects off white clothes and gives us sunburn. Our rainbow extends down below red as well. That's infrared, which we know is heat. In fact, our rainbow, or to use the correct term for this extended version, the electromagnetic spectrum, extends from all the way down at radio waves and microwaves, up infrared, our beloved visible light, ultraviolet, then up to x-rays and gamma radiation. These are all the same kind of energy, just at different frequencies. That's low for radio waves and very, very high for gamma radiation. A star gives off all these frequencies right across the entire spectrum. In fact, here's what our star looks like at different frequencies. To view the full spectrum, we can split the visible light that we can see using a tool called a spectrograph. So if we take a look at the spectrum given off by our sun and there's some bits missing. As the core of a star emits energy, which for light we call a photon, it has to travel through the surrounding gases of the star before emitting out into the vacuum of space and traveling here to Earth. Each time a photon hits an atom in these surrounding gases, it is absorbed and then re-emitted. The photon, however, isn't emitted in the same direction it was traveling. It's emitted in any direction. That means that that photon that was heading straight for Earth is probably going to get redirected away from us. Because every chemical element absorbs and re-emits different frequencies, for example, hydrogen might be really responsive to fire engine red and lime green, but not touch blues at all. Each element has its own unique signature. We can use these signatures, or spectra as they're called, bits that are missing from the spectrum, to know what elements are present in a star. This is a spectrogram from our sun. You can see present in it hydrogen, helium, and a bunch of other elements' unique signatures, or spectra. Because of this, we know that each of those elements is present in our sun. This works for every star and even galaxies. By looking at what spectra are present, we know what elements are present in that star, no matter how far away it may be. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. This episode was written and produced by me, Nathan Chapman, and a huge thanks to my editor, Emily Chapman. There's just enough time for a final tidbit, and light travels ridiculously quickly through a vacuum. It's the fastest thing there is. And despite that, it still takes eight minutes and 20 seconds for light to get from the sun to us here at Earth. If you've liked this episode, please hit that thumbs up button. We'll be back next week with a whole new episode. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you then.